here is the robot explain the robot explanation. As you can see, I got a 3D printed disc here. Um, it's the precise measurements of the regular disc. The only problem, this is great and all, but the only problem is that, well, compression issues. Now, you're like, oh, just get a, just get a flex, I don't have a flex wheel, okay? See this? So let's take this. So, here's how it works in this. See that? See how it spins faster than all the other gears? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. And then you see this conveyor belt. Very, very great way to waste a motor, but it had to be done. Because over here in the intake, it goes up and up and up and up. You know, it goes like, you know what? Like this, so it can oh, no, so it can reorient itself. So the disc is like right here. It's pushed in like this. It's been going from the side, and then you see these little standoffs over here. It's always gonna go in a straight line. Oh, I don't know. It's like oh, it's ass. This thing is so ass. It's always got to be like go under there. It's like so ass. It has to like barely. It has to always go under there. And this one has to go too at the same time. So let's just say, you know, one up. It needs to work perfectly together. Alright. So, let's say theoretically, <laughs> oh, right. so let's say it landed on here, so so the flaps don't hit it anymore, I put these standoffs here, so like the disc is always going to be here, and then the standoffs on the side so it doesn't fall out, and it's going to land over this little hood so it doesn't go like, pew. so it always like lands like right here, it goes like there, and then, This thing going very fast, you know, it's gonna pull it up. And then this thing's going super fast as well. And then, pretty complex yet simple gear train. You know, it got a little bit of friction, Some instability, but I can deal with that. Then I got this. I don't even know. In case one of the sides go out just randomly during the match. And then right here, you know, something like that. And then right here's a big old gear, big old gear, you know. And then the reason I'm not using Nylox is because I'm prototyping and I don't really want to do anything right now. So it's easier to just put these motherfuckers on, you know, because, yeah. And then two motors for the flywheel. I was conservative with motors, but... I'm I practically got no use for another motor. The expansion thingy. I don't know. It's not really useful at the end. Because you're going to cover four tiles anyways. What's the risk of going for your extra two tiles at the end of the day? When it's all said and done in. So basically the flywheel. This motor. These are both bringing because, you know, our school can't afford the other ones. Or they probably could, but we just don't have them. So we got this. Um, I don't even know what this is. I don't even, I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be like this. I'll spaced out like that. Like, see this one? Look at this one. It's kind of worrisome, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of worried right now. Why it's like that. And then this one's like all sturdy. So it's kind of, kind of, kind of a little worried right there. I'm gonna have to fix that later, but no, no big issue occurring yet. So, I would suggest. Everybody watching this video go with the two motor file wheel. And then practically you can have a two motor drive, this is a four motor drive, so it's like weird. I have I used up all the motors. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, eight motors. I would recommend you guys have a one motor intake and maybe like you guys probably have pneumatics, that's why I can't have pneumatics here. So we can probably load up I think one, two, three at the same time. And then we would just go on the conveyor belt, shoot one, psh, and a little bit late, psh, instead of just stacking on the top because I don't we don't have a pneumatic piston. Yeah, I think we're gonna get one. I'm not sure though. But hopefully we do because they're very useful. So then they will just allow us to stack the disc like like a big oh the hood's gonna go up a little bit and it's gonna stack up on top of here and then on the conveyor belt maybe. I don't know. A disc conveyor belt. Yeah, the intakes like the you know like that one VEX video they made about disco. I practically stole their idea. It goes up and down. Wiggly up and down. To adjust the angle of the disc. And I tried to rubber band and take, but it didn't work because I didn't do this. I just had a rubber band and take, like at a like at, at an angle, like a nine degree angle. So that didn't work out. So, what to take away from this video? Um, I'm kind of I'm clinically insane. <sighs> I'm tired. That's why. Um, what else to do? Um, standoffs to make sure the robot lines are do that. Um, these things, um, what else? Hmm. This robot's pretty simple, not gonna lie. It's literally supported by one, by one to be. Oh shoot. It's like super simple. It's like horrible quality build, but. It still probably would do a good a competition, because, you know, that's how I made it to be. It's very low quality build, you know, it's like all misaligned, but it shoots well. It can definitely shoot the ball or the disc because, you know, I've tested it. But like with this, the compression issue, that's why when we get the flex wheels, it's going to be epic. Because you see it here, it kind of pushes it out to the side like that. Kind of. But it has to have it. So, in order for the flywheel mechanism to work, if any teams out there are having trouble, like I did, what I found out to be the best solution was that if you don't have flex wheels, alright, that's okay, I guess. The shaft might bend for now. There hasn't been any significant bend at all. Look, because, you know, it's still compressed. It's, it, the rubber bands kind of help a little bit. But as you can see, it has to have... You, I had, you had to perfectly align the side with the shooter and then oh there's always a problem with this that it's gonna have, it's gonna have a little bit of drift to the right so you're gonna want to pretty much adjust it to where it's like the perfect amount of compression and contact towards this part the side wall because what I figured out is that also there are bands. You want to make sure you have a lot of rubber bands on there. And you might want to zip tie the rubber bands. But it, 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 either way. What I was saying. This thing right here, the little side. If it's too close, it's going to just get stuck. But if it's too far, it's not going to make any contact. And it's going to go like this. It's not even going to move. But if you have it super close, you risk bending the regular rubber wheel. That's why I want to have flex wheels. But not right now. I don't have any right now. And I'm using two green motors, I need two blue motors, maybe just one blue motor. And then I can use it to make a roller to hit the fucking, I don't even know what they are. Or like a little spring spring mechanism to like shoot a, shoot a web and top cover like 70 tiles in, in the process. But then that, this robot is really scuffed. It works fine, I guess. And then I literally drove I, very bad decision. Like I don't know my my gears are squeaking now. Look here, I mean here. The thing is, cause I drove it outside of my garage, outside and in my garage for like twenty hours straight, just shooting discs and breaking stuff. And that's why I probably think you're squeaky, cause the dust 
There's like a lot of dust on the robot now. Look at that. Just dust everywhere. I'm gonna have to get some WD-40 air to get that sorted out. It's pretty fun robot to drive. I probably drove it a combined 70 hours already. And as you can see how horribly built it is. Like, look at that. My parents are coming. Hey guys, my mom's coming, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Who is that? Someone up in the door. sister just getting water or something well i'll see you guys on the next vlog when i try i'll try, I'll try to test this tomorrow because it's like 1 one twenty eight right now so you know you know guys i'll, I'll try to test it tomorrow for now i'm gonna go to sleep because i'm tired ah sleeping time